All right, uh, what the hell am I doing talking about this? Well, as many of you probably know, this video was not, it was not a big hit, and a lot of people really, really disliked it. And I think it's very important to talk about what to do, how to handle a failure, just as well as how to handle a success. Uh, because you can have a ton of successes, and great, people love you for it, but once you have a failure, you have to know how to handle it, because if you keep getting successes, you're fine, but once you have a failure, and you don't handle it well, and you handle it very poorly, you can lose an audience forever, potentially, and it'd be very, very hard to get them back, if ever. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Pink Floyd The Wall, or is it Pink Floyd's The Wall? I never know where to put the S there. It's an abstract musical that musician Roger Waters described as a separation between a rock star and his audience. But it's so much more than that, I think. When it came out in 1982, it got mixed reviews and did only okay at the box office. Many saw it as too pretentious and full of itself, saying it's way... It was just before dusk, one dark weekend evening, well on your way home. When all the critics told you Pink Floyd's wall was shite, when you thought that it was kinda alright, and the masses gave thanks as the movie tanked Fading into obscurity for a while The art house ego trip had fallen and slipped To the bargain bin for 393 
Corey. You can use my computer to do your homework, but no looking through my desk. Got it? Good old Pink Floyd made a movie devoid of even the slightest bit of subtlety. The production was fancy, but way too damn angsty for adults to take seriously. But I found it one day behind Dad's point of stash, hidden away, and my eyes still grew. At the feelings he felt And discovered I felt the same thing Kids' emotions are blood But they're nevertheless raw Felt when the wall broke free Every rock star that's wild Was a rage-driven child Like in this movie They all dream just like Floyd Most of them Attention. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Pink Floyd. <laughs> the boy fancies himself a musician. <laughs> <laughs> it's rubbish. Now what did I just say, Corey? We don't need no education. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's grammatically incorrect, so apparently you do need some education. <laughs> School is no laughing matter. Do you know what we teach in these walls? How to fix a car, pay your taxes, ace an interview, perform for a state, manage your insurance, cook healthy meals, or do household repairs? Preposterous! We pay other people to do those things. We teach important things you need to know in life, like algebra, trigonometry, physics, geology, sex ed. Oh, that's right, you have letters that say you don't need to learn that. Well, it shouldn't be too important, especially in the case of that kid. <laughs> do you laugh at everything? Well, anyway, continue to act like the oppressed and me the oppressor. Rock albums seem to really eat that shit up. <laughs> Welcome to high school, where all the teachers are monsters. I know it looks like they want to teach you something, but they don't. They just want to eat you up because we're evil blood-sucking vampire things. <laughs> Teachers, not one, not even by accident. We need more stuff to rebel. We don't want to help you, we just want to eat your blood and suck your brains. No, our education system's broke. Wait, maybe it's the other way around. I don't know, I got a high school education. <laughs> Who seemed cool? He wasn't! He was all part of the plan! Hey! Who cares? All this bitch himself! Remember that one teacher who seemed really kind and gave you candy? Well, well, we got a another hit in the wall. That candy was really sugar-coated children's souls! LOL, so school sucks. Throw a damn pair of balls. Children's souls! Automatically plan to make sure you're more likely to get a job when you're older. Milking your bloom and pity. <laughs> How terrible is that? <laughs> it's like those 90s commercials where the adults look like bad guys.
Is this really a World War II reference? No, it's just a bunch of kids being herded onto a train to a horrible, torturous building. Oh. Yeah, we're really comparing this to high school? No, no, it's just meant to look weird and creepy. They're not implying that. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to not connect that. Oh, come on. They're just saying school sucks. They're not making any connections to that. Now, let's go on to the next song that talks about the horrors of World War II. Oh, crap. See. It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I don't know. Bye. gonna go to a slow, slow mopey song. Haven't we had enough of those? Yeah, but we have had several of them back to back, so that'll really mix things up. Watch now how I do a sad song about being cheated on. So, you're going from World War II, one of the worst things to ever happen. To bitching about your girlfriend cheating on you? Hey, it doesn't matter how I'm pained, as long as I'm torturously pained. Sounds pretty douchey, man. Yeah, pretty douchey. Hey, if someone doesn't like my artistic dive into madness caused by an affair... You mean like the room? No. Yes. Shut up. They can just skip the scene. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. What's that person I could never see betraying me? You're betraying me? I got a lot more drawn out angst than that. Hey, so you invited me up here, what you wanna do? Just watch TV. You invited me up here to literally watch TV? I'm a successful musician with millions. How can you expect me to be happy? This is gonna be another one of those slow mopey songs, isn't it? Yes. I know that. Don't worry, I have a slow mopey song here too. <clears throat> hey you. Oh my God, doesn't this remind you of Jesus? I'm like, Jesus! I'm Jesus! Feel sorry for me! I'm Jesus! Is there anybody who cares? Fuck no! Wake up Are you still awake in that chair? Just keep listening to me I know you're kinda of bored Yeah sure, yeah sure, yeah sure It's a lot of slow songs now It's hard to keep on track Shut up, 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 shut up
This is where I bring people that I don't want other people to see. Now sober up or have an existential conflict. Either works for me. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Hey, you guys like the music in this review? <laughs> no. Well, believe it or not, there's an album of it. I'm not even kidding. This was done by Rob Scallon, who appears in the review. He has his own YouTube channel. He's just this incredible talent. And I really think he outdid himself with this because this is just such a love letter to Pink Floyd's music and The Wall. And you can download the album in the link below. There's even songs and music that isn't in the review. It's only for the album. And it's really fantastic stuff. So go check it out, man.
analysis of Pink Floyd, The Wall, has led you here. Do you now understand the deeper meaning of... Do you understand the deeper meaning of what it has to say, or... Or is it just a misguided ego trip in this self-indulgent world that we all live in? Pardon, who is it? Hello there, critic. It's Sullivan Croft. Was that all City guy? Yes, actually, um, I was, uh, is Lucy Lacemaker there? Is she there? Because I was, uh, well, S it's just, it's just a thing of, uh, shut the fuck up. What do you mean is she there? She's a made-up character. Mm, I mean... You're not exactly giving creation all of its credit. It's not like you just shit out the Horcrux that Voldemort never meant to make. And that's it, you know, there's a little more to it than that. When you make a character... That looks real and feels real, well... Hmm... The line tends to blur, you know? If you see it, just don't say anything stupid. Good luck, mate. Oh, that's that weird creature I've seen looming around. Yes. And when I heard you were reviewing the much-to-be-desired wall, I figured I'd throw my own tippets. Style over substance, showcasing a bunch of weird creatures and worlds. Not a drop of intellectual development. All paint, no ink. But you are a weird creature. I thought you'd be all over this. Music is one thing, film is quite another. The beauty of music is letting your mind steal itself. The beauty of cinema is taking those raw, maddening ideas and developing them. It's easy to think of a nonsensical idea. Fucking children do it. It's hard to turn those ideas into thinking, feeling, characters and worlds. And isn't that the point of a cinematic adaptation? To make a point? Well. It's clear that the music here does that fine on its own. If you're going to adapt an album into a movie, a completely different medium, I dare say, one should adapt it. Oh, so being a fully developed character, you wanted more fully developed characters. Whether I'm developed or not is down to the viewer, old son. But this film you have here, oh, it fails to truly connect us to those amazing creatures and visuals. A wall does indeed exist, 
and it lies between the monsters and the emotion, dreams and reality, anarchy and order. Make us feel for the world, make us connect to it, so we too can suffer with pink. The visuals are usually praised as the best part. You think you can make a case that the weird characters needed more development? Each one represented something deep and meaningful. Fantastic designs and presents. Wouldn't you want more of them? Let me show you. Let me show you what happens when your dreams no longer need you. <laughs> I will not suffer shitty Those that bring forth naught but pity For their lack of wit and mind Not pity for their lack of wit and But here we draw the fine The result of heart and artist I say the music here is joyous But with that we have to say Constantly dreaming Or just wish they'd give us some more time to live Living Constantly as you'd be busy Those little shits, they've done it now Deserve personality. They could have used us far more often than they did, but now they had to go their own way. We are bored of Alice. We want the header. Just five minutes more, Your Honor. Them and us alone. Film's not bound by characters, it's a visual affair. It never aimed to tell a story, rather a sprawling canvas of emotion, visual splendor. And your honor, we can take that home. Maybe there's more to the picture, just me. Difference between nonsense and throne Fat and creation Genius and nonsense and creation The evidence before the court is incontrovertible There's no need for the jury to retire of judging I have never seen before. A film so deserving of both love and wanting more. The way it makes you tougher makes you think it feel but suffer. Fills me with an urge to decapitate. I believe this film is actually with much to be revered. But the marvellous creatures should be adored as opposed to being feared. Tear down the wall. Well, 
Bye. But that's it? We're stopping there? Well, yeah, the movie did. I didn't even get a line. Hell, I didn't even sing a song. What'd you even think of the movie? Well, the movie ended on such an open vagueness that it only makes sense that the review end on such an open vagueness. It's a review! That's literally the opposite of what that is! Okay! I liked it fine. Yeah, me too. A little full of itself, but good music and imagination. Fair enough. So now what? Well, since you got me, <gasps> I figure I could sing you one of my biggest hits. You mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Sorbent and yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob SquarePants! It's nothing for nonsense, be something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants! And jump on the deck and float like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants! Ready? I mean, it's not going to top that. <laughs> Check out the album!